this is of course a step uh, forward. I mean, Ericsson is the worldwide leader in wireless and that journey is just continuing. We are getting more and more subscribers, more and more demand on quality on the, on the next uh, networks all around the world. What we are doing here right now is that we are se setting up the best uh, possible technology from a data center point of view that can actually do remote testing and we can use all the hardware and software technology that we have. We're going to invest in three centers, uh, one in Canada and then two in Europe that are based in Sweden. Uh, we are uh, roughly spending some seven billion Swedish kronas over five years to build these centers that's going to be state-of-the-art data centers that's going to be used for Ericsson technology and seeing that we really can serve the market in the best way. We have also, if you look at the center also, they are both scalable, they are built in a totally new way. Uh, of course, we have a very big focus on sustainability, so we're going to reduce the power consumption with 40% in these data centers. So, of course, we have thought a lot about also the design and the way we're building them in order to be very sustainable. Sweden wants to be a leading high-tech high country and Ericsson is uh, the most important company for, for Sweden in this respect. So the fact that uh, Ericsson is doing a long-term investment in uh, I information technology is key also for Sweden because uh, it signals that Ericsson uh, wants to stay in, in Sweden with its research and development uh, activities. We see it as our role to create a good uh, environment for business, uh, to invest in research and development, uh, to have a high, uh, high tech oriented uh, university and uh, 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 university system with, with a lot of, of research and development investment. So we are trying to provide an environment where high tech, invest, high -tech investments of this type will, 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 will be very welcome. When we looked into where to locate these uh, uh, new data centers, ICT centers as we call them, it was very clear that we need to connect them closely to the biggest R&D hubs we have. And the reason is we want to be able to configure the hardware and software and having the sort of approximation closeness to those centers and the biggest hubs. And then if you add to that, we can do everything remotely at the same time. Of course, it's going to be a global center where all R&D centers are connected. But there's also a reason to have them close to the biggest hubs we have. So these centers will be uh, in Sweden starting to operate in 2014 and in Canada in 2015. But we're already now starting to work on them and construct them.